Hey there. Companies have marketed e-cigarettes as a safe alternative to traditional smoking. So today, we're going to talk about the safety of vaping. Let's get a little introduction so that we're all on the same page. So traditional cigarettes contain about 4,000 harmful or potentially harmful substances. And e-cigarettes were created originally to help cigarette users quit. But most users are actually teens. In fact, in 2019, almost 30% of high school students reported using e-cigarettes. So what are e-cigarettes? Well, they have a liquid inside that's heated into an aerosol. And that liquid contains nicotine and other chemicals. It's better than traditional cigarettes, but those chemicals can still become carcinogens when they get heated up. So scientists wanted to know how vaping impacts cells. How bad really is vaping compared to traditional cigarettes? So let's get some methods. So this was a study where the researchers reviewed more than 100 papers to look at the effects on cells from e-cigarettes. And they divided these effects into three different categories. One is inflammation in the cells. Two is DNA damage and repair. And three is cancer. So let's look at what they found and get some results. So looking at inflammation, the researchers found that inflammation increased in the mouth and the gums. And this is because there were actually changes to the microbiome because of the chemicals in the e-cigarettes. And this led to a gum disease called periodontitis. The researchers also found that there was inflammation in the lungs. And the researchers found that, that inflammation increased if users were smoking e-cigarettes that were flavored. So let's look at the second category, DNA damage and repair. The researchers found that vaping damaged DNA. So if we look at this original DNA strand, there are a couple different ways that damage can happen. One is that the chemicals in the e-cigarettes can actually attach to the DNA and prevent the DNA from doing what it's supposed to be doing. The other thing that could happen, those chemicals in the e-cigarettes actually break off pieces of the DNA so the DNA can't function properly anymore. Our researchers also noticed that there were reduced repair mechanisms happening when users were vaping. The third category is cancer. And as of 2019, there have only been three cases of oral cancer reported from users who vaped with e-cigarettes. There's also been evidence to suggest that cancer has formed in animal lung cells in the laboratory. So what does all this mean at kind of a larger scale? Let's get a discussion going. Well, I think the overall message is pretty clear that vaping is dangerous. We have inflammation that increases, our damage to our DNA increases as well, and our DNA repair mechanisms are decreased. All of these things can lead to cancer, which is a long-term impact. Now, e-cigarettes are a relatively new product in the last 15 years or so. So we're not going to know the long-term impact of these potential cancers for a while yet. So we're still left with the question, how much damage do e-cigarettes and vaping actually do? So what does this mean for you? Let's get a conclusion. Well, e-cigarettes are not healthy. If you want to stay healthy, make sure you're eating healthy, good food for you. Make sure you're exercising and make sure you spend some time cultivating your mental and emotional health by doing things like spending time with friends and family. The last thing you can do is spread the word to your friends about the dangers of vaping. Hopefully you learned something today. Have a good one.